Right, let's try some rude stuff, see if we get along. <laughs> Lady wind. <laughs> Queefing. <laughs> Fanny farts. <laughs> the expulsion of air from the JJ during sexual intercourse. <laughs> A c <laughs> grunt. There are two main responses when a queef occurs. Some couples, it doesn't matter how gnarly or squelchy the noise, they deny the queef. <laughs> Did you hear anything? No, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> and they move on. Some couples, it's a funny little noise, they have a little giggle, they move on. Not a problem. I like to go a third way. I like to pretend the vagina is talking to me. <laughs> What's that? There's a boy trapped down a well. <laughs> I like to think of myself as the vagina whisperer. <laughs> Getting a phone call. There's a Scottish lady getting a phone call. I imagine the drugs are arriving any moment. <laughs> All right. You switched it off and it rang anyway. <laughs> well, I'm not buying that fucking story. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. It's only a phone. Don't feel bad. It's a what? Sorry. It's a late alarm to come and see me. Well, come and see me an hour fucking late. <laughs> You're not the one I booked for the interval, are you? <laughs> Are you all familiar with the Spider-Man? Yes? <laughs> the sexual practice. Don't panic, I'll explain. The Spider-Man is a sexual practice whereby you're making love to a woman from behind. That's key to this operation. You're just about to arrive. You've got your happy face on. You look like a turtle shitting. <laughs> you pull out, catch Spider-Man. <laughs> I realise many of you are looking at me thinking, well, why did he tell us that? That sounds horrible. <laughs> sounds very aggressive, not very romantic and loving, but the reason I'm telling you is because men are such bad communicators, especially at times of high emotion, like a breakup. So, gentlemen, I don't think you ever need to have that awkward it's not me, it's you conversation again. I think next time, when you think the relationship has run its course, simply Spider-Man. <laughs> she will either think, that was brilliant. <laughs> In which case, she's a keeper. Or... <laughs> this is over, isn't it? <laughs> A lot of men use moisturiser, but I'm old-fashioned. I just spit on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think we were talking about? <laughs> oh, come on, don't give me that look. We've all been there. Come on, love, the film starts in ten minutes. <laughs> we haven't got time for your fancy foreplay or your expensive lubricant. We're going to be buttering the baking tray the old-fashioned way. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, buttering the baking tray is the phrase that will stick. <laughs> so you've just given him a look as if to say, I thought you invented that. <laughs> How does he know what we do? I like getting a blowjob off the missus. I don't know if you get this. I don't know if you get a blowjob off my missus, but... <laughs> the thing I like about oral sex with my partner, I think the thing most men enjoy about oral sex with my partner is not anything sexual, ladies. It's the peace and quiet. <laughs> ladies, if you've ever been going down on a guy and he's gone, ah, oh, ah, oh, that's not your technique. That's not the sound of his sexual ecstasy. That is the sound of a man not being asked a question. <laughs> I was at a party, I was chatting to a guy, he said, what does your girlfriend do? I said, anything but anal. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> I'm in a long-term relationship, but I'm not married. Is anyone else in that situation? <coughs> Quite a few, but you're timid about saying, because, uh, like me, you'll know, if you're in a long-term relationship but not married, everyone, friends, family, colleagues, acquaintances, everyone feels they can stir it up a bit. <laughs> as soon as anyone hears, they go, have you thought about... <laughs> You two, have you thought about <laughs> trying to start an argument between us? I think it's very rude. So whenever anyone says to me, have you thought about, have you thought about, have you thought about, I always go, what, putting a third finger in? <laughs> I could give it a go. I'm not sure it's what the relationship is missing. Maybe try the shocker. <laughs> 
two in the pink, one in the sting. That's how that works. <laughs> Sorry, too much? Two in the goo, one in the poo. There. <laughs> Nicer for everyone. <laughs> I don't know what conversation that prompted there. I imagine that was you, madam, turning to him, thinking, I'm glad it's not just you. <laughs> I had a woman come up to me after a show in Tunbridge Wells. She said, I found that shocker thing very uncomfortable. <laughs> now, I knew what she meant. <laughs> but I couldn't help myself. I said, lubricant. <laughs> Are you all aware of what snowballing is, the sexual practice snowballing? Yeah. One bloke down. <laughs> Who was that down there? Quite proud of that. Well done. <laughs> Everyone else, none the white. Okay, well, I'll explain. It says something about you. <laughs> Snowballing is a sexual practice where having it ministered oral sex, your partner doesn't spit or swallow, so much as return to sender via a kiss. <laughs> oh, you're looking shocked and appalled as I explain that to you. Let me assure you, I found out the hard way. <laughs> and it does raise an interesting moral dilemma. Should you spit or swallow? <laughs> well, if you really love yourself... So I can see some friends of mine up there. And you're explaining that to your mum. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, what a brilliant day out that will be. <laughs> what a lovely drive home. So this snowballing thing. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. A lot of men like it when the collars and cuffs match, but I wouldn't want to date a bald lady. <laughs> that took you a while to get. Apparently, women like chocolate because it stimulates them in the same way as sex, which I think goes some way towards explaining the popularity of the chunky Kit Kat. <laughs> I've never found chocolate to be an aphrodisiac. The only way a chocolate bar is going to help my sexual performance is if I use it as a splint. <laughs> or bait. I've got a friend that took me to one side recently. He said, what does it mean if on a first date a girl puts a cheeky finger up your bum whilst fellating you? <laughs> I said, it means there's going to be a second date. <laughs> when my first girlfriend choked to death, it was a terrible blow. <laughs> I had to finish myself off. <laughs> my girlfriend said to me recently, we can't have sex, I've got a headache. I said, I'm going to be right at the other end. <laughs> Do you want to get back to me if you get a pain in your vajay -jay? <laughs> That's right, I said vajay -jay. what of it? <laughs> I've got an awkward question for you. It's awkward whether you're here on a first date or whether you're in a long-term relationship. It's awkward for everyone. Should you spit or swallow following oral sex? <laughs> Goggles. <laughs> well, there's a fella there that loves the taste of sponge. <laughs> Now, it's an awkward question. It's very much the cutting edge of sexual politics. I'm going to sort this out for you once and for all. You'll never have to think about it again, ladies and gentlemen. Should you spit or swallow following oral sex? It doesn't matter. Once I've ejaculated, I'm asleep. <laughs> you can do what you fucking like. You can gargle the national anthem for all I care. As long as it doesn't wake me up or interfere with you calling your cab. <laughs> I'd like to talk about a sex act that I don't fully understand. Are you all familiar with the 69, yes? No, I like the 69 as much as the next man. <laughs> Hoping he isn't man, that would be terrible. <laughs> I like the 69, but I don't, I don't really understand it because it's an incredibly intimate thing to do with another human being. But how does the 69 ever occur? It only ever happens when, when the, the man says to the woman, would you do that thing that I like? And the woman goes, yeah, all right, but only if you do that thing that I like. And the man goes, not a problem, away you go. And the woman says, no, because the last time I did the thing that you liked, you were a little bit sleepy afterwards. <laughs> you fucked off to sleep. You said, we'll call it a 68. It's like a 69, but I owe you one. <laughs> I like everything about the 69 apart from the view. <laughs> the perineum, or taint. I like to call it the Amanda Holden. <laughs> because like Amanda Holden, on Britain's Got Talent last year. It's the bit between the arsehole and the c**t. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Carr, the guy you just saw in that video. Thanks for watching it, because uh, somehow I get money from that. I, I don't know how. 
I don't I don't know probably probably it filters through some sort of advert that you watch before you watch the video maybe or maybe you subscribe anyway thanks for watching it and somehow that benefits me and hopefully I'll see you at a live show at some point further down the sunny road good luck